I'm going to take a brief look at the daily build of Ubuntu 18.04 for March 1st, 2018, just for the purposes of looking at a new way of getting a minimal installation. This doesn't require a separate ISO. This is an option on the standard ISO image. Currently, it's available in the default Ubuntu with GNOME and Ubuntu Mate, and will probably become eventually available in all of the flavors of Ubuntu 18.04. But of course, the applications for each flavor will differ. Now, I chose wired connected, but actually I have a wireless connected, but since this is in GNOME boxes, it reads it as a wired connection. So I'm going to double click on the install button. So it selects English, continue. Keyboard is English US, continue. Now this is what you have to pay attention to. At the top here it says minimal installation. This will only install a minimal desktop environment with a browser and utilities. Of course if you leave it unchecked you get the full installation. But I'm going to check that and also check install third-party software and already checked is download updates while installing Ubuntu. And I'm going to click on continue. So that's the difference in installation. From there on everything is as usual, but I'll go through it quickly. Now where it says erase disk and install Ubuntu, normally I go down to something else at the bottom, but in this case it's installing in a virtual machine, so I'm just going to click install now. And it's going to format my virtual disk. OK, continue. And identifies my location as Chicago. Continue. And asks for my name. It picks a computer's name and a username, which I can change. I'm going to enter a password. and confirm it. I, I'm going to leave unchecked login automatically because you will have the option at the login screen of using either XORG or Wayland. And while it defaults to XORG in this particular release, I always want to have the option of changing it and I'm going to leave checked require my password to log in and I'm going to leave unchecked encrypt my home folder. Continue. Now it's copying files and I'm going to pause the video at this point. Uh, it still has the artwork from Ubuntu 17.10 although this is the daily build of Ubuntu 18.04. Now here it normally removes the temporary packages. It says removing extra packages and it's checking for packages to remove. But you'll notice here that in addition to removing the temporary packages, it also removes some of the packages which are normally left in. removing some of the games, Mines, Sudoku. And it's removing LibreOffice here. So that's in the ISO, but it's not going to be in the minimal installation.
So now the installation is complete and I'm going to click on restart now. But I'm going to go to my actual installation on my remote hard drive. This is my actual installation on an external hard drive. Just to show you what a minimal installation looks like at this point. Remember, this is very early in the development cycle, so things could change before the final release. The dash is just the way it came with one exception. Since I'm using Simple Screen Recorder, which I installed, it shows up down here since it's currently active. But otherwise, you have Firefox, the file browser Nautilus, the Ubuntu software, which is also GNOME software, help utility, and the Amazon store. However, searches do not go to the Amazon store by default as they used to. So if I click on this matrix symbol at the bottom, you can see what's installed. Amazon, calculator, files, Firefox, the input method, the language selector, power statistics settings, simple screen recorder I installed, software and updates, software updater, startup applications, synaptic package manager I installed, the system monitor, the terminal, the text editor, Ubuntu software, down here videos, and utilities. So if I click on that, you have the archive manager, characters, another instance of characters that's probably going to be weeded out, disks, which is GNOME disks, the document viewer, PDF viewer, font selector, help, image viewer, logs, another instance of logs. Again, these will probably be weeded out. Passwords, screenshot, and system monitor. So that's it. What you don't find in here is LibreOffice. If I were using this, I would probably install LibreOffice. So why would I do this when I can get LibreOffice with the full installation? With the default version of Ubuntu with the GNOME desktop, they generally provide only LibreOffice Calc, LibreOffice Writer, and LibreOffice Impress, the presentation manager. They don't provide the full LibreOffice suite. So it's actually easier for me to install the LibreOffice suite from scratch than it is to install the missing components of the suite one by one. And of course, if you were a gamer and you wanted to use your computer primarily to play games, you might not want an office suite. So while there are more ways of getting an even more minimal installation of Ubuntu, this is an easy way to get one that leaves a lot of space on your hard drive available for the things that you really use. This is XRAM Tech. Thanks for watching.